let's try to connect to the firewall and see what happens. The easiest way to install AnyConnect, if you have not installed already on your computer, is to browse to the firewall from outside to the outside interface. You will skip through the certificate warning. If you have a certificate issue, you need to skip through that. And you get to this login page when you have enabled AnyConnect. And here you need to log in using the local account. I'm using Cisco with a password of Cisco. And after logging in, I will have any connect choice in the menu to the left where I can use a link to download and install any connect from the browser. You can also download an MSI file and install any connect prior to trying to connect with just an installation file. Or if you already have any connect installed, which I have, I find any connect in the start menu and I find any connect here. I was already connected. This is how AnyConnect looks like. It's a slick interface with only one field to edit where you put in your host name that you should connect to and you press connect or disconnect. By default, there is a setting that you need to change and I will show you this checkbox here, block connection to untrusted servers, that is checked by default. And if you try to connect, you will get an error. Let's do that. You connect with AnyConnect, you enter the IP address or host name. If you have a certificate, you need to use a host name. I use an IP address here in my lab environment. The first thing that happens is that I will get a message telling that it refuses me to connect. The AnyConnect client says that the remote host does not have a certificate that we trust. In order to avoid that in lab environment, you need to uncheck block connection to untrusted servers in the settings of AnyConnect. After I do that and connect again, I will still get a warning, but it's not the red window that says I'm refused. It's a warning that I can bypass by checking connect anyway. If I click connect anyway, I will connect. Throughout this course, since I do not have a certificate installed, I will always get this warning and bypass that with connect anyway. I log in with username and password, Cisco, Cisco. And after a few seconds, I am logged in and the client is connected. It says it's connected in the lower right of the screen. In the start menu, there is also an icon in the SysTray with a locked padlock. If you hover the mouse over it, it says VPN connected. So the padlock over the globe here in the lower right means that we are connected right now. Let's see if we can get any contact. Let's ping 10.0.0.100, which is a server that is on the inside of the firewall. I can tell you right now that it will not work. I will explain in the next video why. But first, let's have a look at AnyConnect. Let's find the AnyConnect application that is hidden in the SysTray and look at the statistics here. The statistic says that we are connected. It says that we are both sending and receiving traffic, but actually when we ping, we only send traffic and this one is not increasing. The same with frames, which are packets. We see that we can send pings to the server, but we're not getting any back. The reason for that, it's very, very, very common mistake to do. And I will show you how to easily fix that and we will get contact with our server in the next video.